Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the Beach Game HD, and yes, uh, we're doing SCCM today. It's all about upgrading to the next level. I think the last video that we did together was we upgraded our SCCM 2012 R2 to version 1511. Now, when I did the upgrade to 1511, I upgraded my Windows ADK, uh, Windows 10, to 1607. And the reason why I did that is because eventually I am going to be upgrading my SCCM to the highest and greatest. And just got to make sure that you have uh, the latest ADK because this is where your SCCM takes the boot images, right? So we're, I already did that already. And I want to show you guys right now that if I go into administration, site configuration, sites, and I right click and go to properties within my sites and I want to show you guys that I am running version 1511 which is build 8325 and you can also go into the tools and about configuration manager and version 1511 now if I go also within software library operating systems and boot images my boot images version is 14393 which is actually uh, 1606 the ADK but if you if you install the version 1511 ADK, you're going to get I believe 15835 or 853 something like that. So once you upgrade to 1511, uh, and eventually in the background something's happening. When you log into your console, you're probably going to get a dialog stating this. I'm going to show you guys what I mean and I'm going to double click on this. So you're probably going to get something like this. A new update is available for your configuration manager. How cool is that? So you, all you have to do is go into uh, cloud services, updates and service and node. For me, I had a crap load of services that uh, I needed to push down. So I'm going to show you guys right now and we're going to go administration, cloud services let's expand that and update and servicing as you guys can see i have a bunch of updates i have 1602 1606 1610 which is actually available so i'm pretty excited about that so what i'm going to do today is upgrade my 1511 to 1602 and then the next video i'm going to do 1606 and then we're going to upgrade to 1610 it's already downloaded into our server which is great we are going to right click on it and you get two options. You got run, prerequisite check, or install update pack. I'm going to do the run to check to make sure it is up to par. So right now it's checking for prerequisites. If you want to double check and see what's the status, one way I like to do it, the geek way, is if you go inside your Fire Explorer and go to C Drive. And within your C Drive, you're going to see an option that says Config Manager. Where are you? Config Manager Prerequisites. So we are going to double click on that right now. So let's go all the way to the bottom. And right here, it's staying updating prerequisite checking results into the registry. It's connecting to the registry. So it looks like it's connecting. Uh, a couple of things have passed, which is pretty cool. A couple of things have skipped, which is okay. All right, it's looking pretty good so far. I don't really have a Windows failover cluster, so that's the reason why I got that red on the log. So another way that you could check is, let's close this log, is within the console. So just highlight whatever update you're checking for. There's a related objects show status, so I'll click on it. It's going to take you to the site servicing status, and this is Git right here. So we're going to right click on it and show status. Right now it's not showing anything, so we could refresh it. It's going to take some time for it to show details. Again, you're doing everything within the console rather than using a DVD or a ISO to push the update. All right, guys. So it looks like our update packet installation status has uh, passed. This is always a good thing. Uh, it did take some time. So just be patient and just refresh it. And once it refresh, eventually you're going to get all the pass, all the green check marks, which is great. So I'm going to just... Uh, Click on OK. We're going back into administration. And within administration, we're going to the update services. So from here, you're going to see configuration manager 1602. As you can see, the state has it checked, it passed. So now we are able to right click on it and install the update pack. So you get this nice little window saying configuration manager 1602. This is the wizard. Uh, this, this version includes the following. Cool. We're going to click on next on that. I'm going to leave all the features as is because I want all the features to be installed. Okay. Then click on next. 
Okay, so this part right here, your client update options, this is new. Uh, you have two options. This is really up to you. I'm going to do the upgrade without validating, and we're going to just click on next. Uh, the license and terms, we are going to accept and click next. A nice little summary of what's going to happen, and we're going to click on next again. And uh, it looks like it's doing something. Then you get a nice little window saying completion. The configuration manager update wizard completed successfully. How awesome is that? Uh, success, install the update package configuration manager 1602. Uh, everything is good. And we're going to click on close. Okay, so once you click on close, you're probably saying to yourself, it's done. Not really. Eventually, this state right here that says uh, prerequisite check pass is going to start saying installing. What's happening right now behind the scenes is that the installation has initiated. But eventually, this right here is going to start saying st installing all right if you're impatient like me sometimes there is a log that you could check out to make sure stuff has started behind the scenes so i'm going to show you guys where you can find it at so let's go inside our fire explorer uh you're going to go inside wherever you drop your SCCM stuff into when you install it i dropped it inside the d drive so let's go to programs and files microsoft configuration manager logs and the log that you're looking for is the cm update so we're going to double click on that and we're going to go to all the way to the bottom. As you guys can see right here, Configuration Manager Update Services is starting. So it has started. It is doing something behind the scenes, but it's just taking its sweet time to do it. It just takes some time for it to uh, show up over here with the state of saying installing. Uh, I would just say, you know, be patient, go grab a cup of coffee and then come back. All right, guys, again, like I said, you just have to be patient. Uh, eventually the state has changed now it's saying installing so the best thing that you could do is just leave your SCCM server alone until this state indicates installed so uh, one of the things I do recommend when you're updating your SCCM to any version is to just take a look at your CM updates log because it is it, it's, it's awesome because a lot of things are happening behind the scenes and you can see everything that happens like uh, it updates your SQL tables it updates your boot images it does everything everything it just shows you everything I love using the log file to uh, kind of check the status of how everything is running behind the scenes updating the SCCM console because sometimes using um, the site servicing status doesn't really it doesn't update itself quickly as the log file so what we need to do is go let's go to administration let's go to update servicing right now is returning list items and it says installed now one of the things that you need to do is restart your console and once you restart your console your SCCM console it's going to update itself there's another way to do it too so I'm gonna show you guys so if I click on this and show status and let's say if I show status over here Eventually, if you do something major, like show status, you're going to get this. A new version of the console is available. Click OK to close the console and install the new version now. Or click cancel to continue working on the old console. We don't want to work with the old console, so we're going to click OK. It's going to close up, and as you can see, the configuration manager is downloading files. And once the files are downloaded and installed, your console will be uh, to the latest and greatest version. So you can start using it. And uh, right now, as you guys can see, look at that. All right, so our console was updated. Uh, a couple things that I need to do is the following. I'm going to go to uh, administration, site configuration, sites. Let's right click on this guy right here, go to properties. And it looks like the new build number is 8355. Cool. Uh, another way to check is if you go to Tools, About Configuration Manager, version 1602, awesome. Site version again is 8355-1000, awesome, awesome. Uh, another thing that I like to check is go to Software Libraries, Operating Systems, Boot Images, and it's 14393, which is okay because again, my Windows ADK that I installed was 1606, and this is the build number for that particular ADK. So I'm good to go for the next... Uh, the next huge update within SCCM. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.